In Sindusha, this reality, the demand, supply and replenishment of water and forest reserves amidst climate concerns, form the backdrop for a host of initiatives aimed at sustainable forest and water management. For the Water Resources Management Agency, the WRMA, initiatives to support sustainable use of the island's water resources works in close relation to the country's sustainable forest management agenda set out by the Department of Forestry. Water Resources Specialist Miguel Mortut says the work of the two entities cannot exist in a realm on its own. As the successful implementation of actions under the work program of one department ultimately impacts negatively or positively the outcome of the other. There's a, um, a concept called integrated water resources management which looks at providing water equitably to, to, to various users including water for the environment. So that's where the water resources management comes in to determine environmental flows within the water cycle and determine what interventions can be done from the forestry end to help um, sustain water resources. For instance, forests are needed as part of the water cycle um, as a means of evaporation or evapotranspiration to allow rainfall as part of the cycle. Um, forests also help to filter um, contaminants within the soil to improve water quality also helps to reduce sedimentation of, of, of soils which could make river water more, more cloudy and make that water more expensive to treat. Last week's commemoration of World Forest Day and World Water Day kicked off a year-long drive to raise awareness around the numerous projects on the ground to strategically address concerns of these resources locally. The importance of forestry, important for water conservation, important for um, good air quality as well without the forest to filter those, the, the, the pollutants from the atmosphere, then it's a problem for us. It helps us mitigate against the impact of climate change. We ensure that our forest is intact, it minimizes um, erosion, etc. So these are some of the benefits for us. In, um, also persons who actually sustainably use the forest. Persons who engage in stuff like broom making, basket making and stuff. So there's some sort of livelihood involved in conserving the forest for the communities as well and for us as a department. The Department of Forestry continues to work on drawing focus to the interconnectivity between water and forests and its importance in building resilient tourism, agri-food and related industries. From the Communication Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Amanda Fee Clark reporting.